So three things, okay? The first one is this. We ought to reflect God's concern for human life by valuing all human life. Reflect God's concern for human life by valuing all human life. One of the implications of this command is that human life is valuable to God and ought to be valuable to us regardless of the form that it takes. I love this insight by a Deuteronomy scholar by the name of Daniel Block. He writes, unlike Babylonian laws, this command draws no distinction in value of life on status, race, or gender. The life of all human beings is equally sacred. Thus, and we need to hear this, this command undermines all claims of superiority or partiality in God's eyes. In God's eyes, the life of the illegal immigrant is as valuable as the life of the President of the United States. The life of an African American man or woman is as valuable as the life of a Caucasian man or woman. The life of a child is as valuable as the life of an adult. The life of a woman is as valuable as the life of a man. The life of a child in the womb is as valuable as the life of a child on a baseball field. The life of a 40-year-old professional is as valuable as the life of the 90-year-old suffering from dementia. Why? Because God imparts life by creating all of them in his image and they are valuable because he says so he dictates it it is his life to give it is not ours to take and devalue they are his representatives on earth and for his purpose and to attack the dignity and the worth of a human life is to attack the creator and sustainer of that life and as we would see it is to forfeit our own right to life God takes life so seriously. Thus, the sixth commandment undermines all claims or practices of racial or ethnic superiority, prejudice, or partiality. It prohibits us from hating those who are not like us. It prohibits us from violent expressions of self-centered desires. It prohibits misogyny. It prohibits abortion. It prohibits suicide. It prohibits self Suicide or assisted suicide or euthanasia. It compels us to advocate for just laws in our society that protect life and promote human flourishing. Why? Because life does not belong to us. It belongs to God. Life is His alone. And when we forget this, we violate the distinction between us and Him. Thus, our thoughts and our deeds ought to reflect God's concern for human life for valuing all human life. 